はい、おはようございます。おれのれんです。今日はですね、we're going to continue right now with Tales of the Black Forest and I think we are supposed to go now to the Karamoi Town. Yeah, thank you, Rao. Uh, Eko sama, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot your name, but yes. Uh, we can continue now. Take it, my shot. I know there's a post in the signboard. Okay, back to the ominous place. As it should be. Uh, Shikanaki Muda will be demolished by the end of next year to build the reservoir. Reser residents are asked to keep away. August 1997, Koromori Show Safety Committee. Damn. So, would he indeed destroy gets the place after like what happened you know but like you know the gas attack and stuff like that that is like not not great i must say i mean if i'm gonna be like the person that is in the village i'm, I'm gonna i'm just gonna be like you know what i'm gonna peace out you know i'm just gonna go to kodomori town i don't mind oh this is quite different than i expected expected it to be uh some posters of religious groups are posted on the telephone pole the end is coming. Join us. Door to happiness. Yep, those are some colds that, you know, if you know what I mean, you know, those type of guys, I you just don't want to be with, you know? If you know those kind of people, you just gotta be like, nope, friend, I'm just gonna leave, you know? I don't care. Go do your thing, I'm just, no, nope, 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 just gonna leave. But yeah, uh, I think we're we supposed to go now. This is actually quite a modern town. Uh, no entry. Barricade tape is scattered all over the ground. Oh, let me tape it down though. Did we go inside though? Oh, those are gachas. Are those gachas? Yeah. Yeah, gacha pawn machines. Uh, capsule tug bending machines. Build with color be up. As, as, as it describes. <laughs> and the notice mentioned the place is up for so please. So that means... There are no people in here, I think. Oh, there's a basketball court. <gasps> uh, Shikanaki Tunnel is in danger of collapsing. Please keep out. I think we're gonna go there. <laughs> I know that tunnel is gonna collapse, but I think we're gonna go there. There's a basketball court in here. Whoa. Oh, we can sit in here. Damn. Damn, let's go. Three points. Stupid Curry. Stupid Curry. LeBron James. LeBron James. Uh, I noticed in the upcoming demolition works in Shikanaki Village. Shikanakimura will be demolished by the end of next year. All residents are asked to keep away. August of 1997, Cho. Yeah. Wait, I wanna know though. What is the current time though? Was it like 2010? Or... Is it like just a year later, I guess? I don't know. Or probably we just like, you know, back in time. I guess, I don't know. But yeah. Uh, trash can. Uh... Oh, this one might work though, but we don't have money. Damn it. This is a epic basketball court. Damn. Oh. This should be the apartment Tamasaki Sen mentioned. Are we going here? Are we? The financial crisis is coming. Yamashita Bank will tide over the crisis, really. <gasps> the Yamashita Bank are uh, having a hard time in life and heavy stress. You know that consulting services is hard to serve you earnestly. Yeah. God damn it, man, those posters. Uh, I noticed with blurry words written to it. Now, recently, there are numerous instances of people missing in Kodomori Chao residence. Who and two are asked to stay away from deserted alleyways. March 1987, Kodomori Chao Safety Committee. Yeah, so the spookiness actually got involved as well in the, you know. In the what do you call that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the in the Kurumori town, yeah. Like, <gasps> no, oh, I mean, I don't mind though. Yeah, yeah. We used all of our saves so far. Okay, let's check this. The mailbox is filled with flyers and dusty letters. Now, any correct? A few of the letters are addressed to me. These letters are from Tamasaki Sen. Tamasaki. Tamasaki. Uh, what did this letter say? Namasaki-san said she's doing well in Tokyo and she's been inviting us to go there and enjoy ourselves. 
Oh, yeah, it is Tamasaki. Er, uh, she will take care of our accommodation? It would be great if we could claim the cost for the trip. You have already published two books. You probably earn a lot of money, right? Uh, you had a chance. Please don't talk such as about such a serious matter. Uh, uh, there's a keyhole in the mailbox, and it fits the key Tamasaki-san gave to us. Perhaps the dwelling Tamasaki-san mentioned is referring to this mailbox. Yeah. Oh! This is the dwelling Tamasaki-san mentioned. It would actually be in such a small mailbox? Oh, so she lives in the... Ah, I see. I heard, uh, she lives in a mailbox. I heard some yokai like like to live in a dimension where humans live, but they are also afraid to bump into human beings. So they often set up magical barriers in nondescript places in the human world, like gaps within tables, uh, and walls, and paintings and inside. Closets. Those dimensions may look small, but in fact, they are entirely different worlds altogether. Naruhodo. There's a stove here. I finally found a place to write my manuscript. Finally! Oh, did you transform? Yeah. Can you change into a human at any time? Well, I am weak and it isn't convenient for me to move around. It is a bit easier for me if I do things as a pigeon. Read the notebook. Oh, you say you, you only do talk right when it's pigeon form. Nani? I have a question. We first met each other when I used Mensha without realizing it, and returned to the year 1995. Perhaps you were already at the train station two years ago? You had a, the prison you were seeing now is also the prison you saw at the time. That time. Uh, I have always been in the same time and space as you. You have the same curse and fate, and Mensha enables her fates to intertwine. Ooh! You mean Nensha has something to do with the curse? Probably. Anyway, uh, we will get all our answers when we arrive at Kurumai Town Theater and remove the curse. I'm not available for a small talk now. I have to write a manuscript now. Okay. Uh-huh, do what you need to do and I will look around for it. This is quite a... This is quite a cozy home, I'm not gonna lie. I would love to live in this place. <laughs> if I have like a home or something like that, you know, or like at least a room, you know. But again, yeah. oh, this is indeed. Oh, look at that TV over there. That's a CRT, right? Wait, what is this? Uh, are those Game Boy? I don't know. Are those a new gaming console? Are they NES or something? PlayStation? Kinda? Yeah, they had this three. Three, what do you call those? Three, three controllers. I mean, like, there's three spikes. I mean, I mean, we know what I mean, right? There's like this three thingies in there. I don't know what console is that. I mean, that game controller console thing. I don't know what is that though. But yeah, it's a game console. Uh, column in Koromori Daily feature on Koromori Cho gas incident. On April of 20, dozens of people were killed in a gas attack on the Tokyo subway. After an investigation, police have confirmed that the religious group Shinrin Tengoku is behind the attack. On October 9, there was a gas attack on Koromori Cho train number 135. According to a survivor, two Shinrin Tengoku members used canisters, which contained a specially uh, made toxic gas on the moving train in station succession. And vote members died while five passengers and a train attendant were killed. Damn it. On October 11, a poison gas. So, it's the train. So, at first it's the Tokyo train station and then, and then the theater. Okay, a poison gas attack took place at Koromaricho Kekicho. It was raining and a member of Shinrin Tenkuku discharged the poisonous gas from the rooftop of the theater. The gas had mixed with the rain and scattered on passes by below, leading to poor deaths and dozens of serious injuries. Police revealed that the two gas incidents were planned and carried out by fanatical followers of Shinri, Shinri Tengoku. 
though at present the police have arrested most of its members and some are still at large. In order to prevent further gas attacks, the police have stepped up patrols and asked residents to collect their safety manual on hazardous gases in a timely manner and notify the police immediately if they see any suspicious person. Sociologists pointed out that in the Tengoku's activities have become a commonplace in Kuromoricho and is closely associated with the decline of Kuromoricho. Yeah, because they actually did their stuff in here, in Kuromori. After the economic crisis, the government in Kuromori Cho has never been able to come up with a sound and effective revitalization plan. And the unemployment rates remain high while all kinds of criminal activities continue to persist. Recently, a lot of people from the victim's families and the populace have come to the town's government office to lodge their protests on their own initiative. We will continue to bring further updates to the story in November of 1995. I see. It's gonna be sad though for the town to be like, you know, like, to become the base of like, you know, it's like some cold organization that has affected the town so poorly. So, I mean, so poorly and greatly that they just can't even, you know, do the, the you know, do the revitalization plan and it's gonna be sad that, yeah, the Kuramori, you know, is gone gone. And it is actually, I think it was, uh, yeah, uh, he had a chance, uh, place, right? The original place. The stove is giving up a blue plane. Where are we supposed to go now? There are a lot of things in here. Nagami mochi. Oh, yeah, it's the glass the mochi. Can, are they edible though, or are they just for decorations? I don't know, but yeah. Closet. Closet? My collection of music albums from the band Little Lover is nearly arranged under the radio. Okay, I don't know if that's a band, but okay. Or like a real band. Calendar for February 1986. It's not winter yet, but the inside of this house feels as cold as winter. Is that because time in this room is stopped at February 1986? Should be. The clock's hands aren't moving, and it's 3 a.m. Yeah. This is her bed. There are several mystery nobles in the night sense. Tamasaki Zen also likes Kobayashi Zen Sensei's works. It seems to have uh, seen the place outside the window in the fox forest before. Is this dimension connected to the fox forest? Okay, why do I make the sound a little bit higher? Okay, is that okay though? Yeah, I think 30 is okay. Anyway. Uh oh. Uh oh, we can we can go to the bed. Yeah, we can sleep in here. Damn. Oh and I love that. I love that. The ladder thingy. Nice. That is actually a good good feature for that. Like you know like Kihara doing the you know doing the uh doing the ladder, yeah. Uh, other than that, what what else did I? Wait, are there some food over there? Okay, I'm gonna talk to you now, Yuki. You had again. Good job, all is well. Now, please get some well-deserved rest. You've sorted out the rules of Nensha in the notebook, so if you have any questions about Nensha, you may refer to it. Update the rules of Nensha. Number one, Nensha can read and restore the memories in electrical appliances and. Users can freely travel through those memories. That is one. Number two is the appliances to be used for Nensha need to work normally. Number three is Nensha can also be used on other electrical appliances that are working normally in the same area. Number four is the will of the user will determine the activation and effectiveness of Nensha. Under dangerous conditions, Nensha will activate by itself. Um, and lastly, number five is electrical appliances applied by Nensha will be moved due to traveling back in time. Changes applied by Nensha in the past will also affect the present situation. Nensha users can break others into Nensha's space and that's a lot though, oh my god, number 8 is the number of people and the time span will affect Nensha's effectiveness. Uh, number 9 is that if the process of activating Nensha is interrupted, it will have unforeseen consequences. 
And number 10, Nature is incapable of changing that as a path. Ooh. That is something. Yeah. That 10 though. Damn. Didn't knew that. So we can bring someone back to life. Like, you know, save someone and like do the Nature and then bring her, you know, back, you know, bring the person back, you know, without getting killed at that timeline. But yeah, wait, wait. Light is shining through the window. Wait, can we? Can we go in here though? Someone is living inside, okay. The cat is in here. It's the black cat I met at Shikanaki Station. Ah, oh, we met again, yeah. Hello, dear. It's the cat though. You can understand what I'm saying? Yes, because of reasons that are hard to explain. By the way, you seem like you wanted to tell me something when we first met. I'd like to offer you a few drinks, uh, because I haven't seen a conversational chan as cute as you for a long time. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand your language at that time, and I'm not old enough to drink any alcohol yet. Young girls nowadays are so boring, yeah. Why does it feel a bit frivolous? Did you come to Koromori Town to sightsee, yeah? I'm going to Koromori Chokekicho. Why are you going there, yeah? Because of various reasons, I need to go there. For whatever reason, that place is very dangerous, Nia. Nia! And there's a dog right now in the background. There's a lane of the weeping rain in front of Kuramari Chogekijo. Once it rains, the rain water becomes very toxic and you will be corroded if you go there now, Nia. Weeping rain? There was a gas attack near Kuramari Chogekijo two years ago. So it was 1998 now, okay. I remember it was raining at that time. A madman from some religious group ran to the roof of the theater to discharge the poison gas, and then the gas mixed with the rain to pull on passers by below. A lot of people have died in that attack, and the scene at that time was poisoning. Yeah. Although the poisoning gas was cleaned up later, the vengeful ghosts of those innocent victims that died tragically continued to hang around near the theater and make that wailing sound when they were killed by the gas. That strong anguish together with the wailing has become a highly corrosive weeping rain. It's useless even if you take an umbrella, nya. Yeah. So you absolutely mustn't go there until the rain stops, nya. Yeah. There's no other way to go to the theater? If you insist, nya. Yeah. Why though? And the owner of the forest cat cafe probably knows the way to avoid being corroded by the weeping rain. Forest cat cafe. Uh, the owner is a very capable one. You would definitely know a win, yeah? Uh, do you know where is that cafe? Oh, that one over there? Oh, that one in the alley. Is it the end of that lane? That was kind of a creepy. I understand. Thank you very much. Come Mr. Mechan, are you sure you don't want to have a drink with me? Come in. Come in aside. It's fine, you look like you have something important to do. Uh, I won't force you in that case. Uh-huh, arigato. Arigato gozaimasu wa. Uh, this one is a pune wo amashore in the Great Passage Bookshop. Uh, business hours is 10 o'clock to 7 p.m. Okay. Nostalgic Bookstore logo, hot manga series, Jojo. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh... Oh, this is a CD video! Uh... Kuporo Guru... Kuporo Guru... Kuporo... Kuporo... I don't know what that kanji is. Uh, the story shot, yeah. Mononoke-sama... It's the Princess Mononoke. Yume? What is that dream? Is that an anime video? Midnight ring. Oh, it's the yeah the ring. And this one is the Tokyo Love Affair. I don't know. I don't know the inspiration for that. Uh, I know the real one for that. The wine bottles are waiting to be recycled, and there is a paint smell of wine. 
I'm not old enough to drink sake. Okay, now I think. Okay, you know what? What if we can we talk to can we talk to Yuki Jumpers? I'm going to fire if you want to go out. Okay then, no problem. So we don't have any other choice but to go actually there. God oh, damn, some up. Oh, what is this? Uh, recently there are numerous instances of people missing in Kodomori Cho. Residents and tourists are asked to stay away from the deserted alleyways. March of the 1997 Kodomori Cho Safety Committee. Yep, 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 there's a lot of safetyness guidelines in this place. You know, I kinda accept that, you know? Is there someone in there? Oh, that's so cute! The traveling cat! It's a dog and a cat! Oh my god! Onichiwa! Oh, mommy? Mommy? Sorry, mommy? <laughs> ah, we haven't had a customer for a long time. Welcome to the forest cat cafe. Ara ara! Zumimasen, are you the boss here? I am the waitress. The boss is inside. Isn't it opening hours right now? Business has been very slow lately, so we have been quite idle. Uh, we hope we can support our humble establishment if possible. Okay. Wait. By the way, does this place have a magical barrier? Yes, ma'am. You are very knowledgeable. After all, the economy is bad right now, so we have set up a barrier to save on cost. Yeah, oh, the oh, the cat's boat. Oh, that's the train station, right? That's the one trip of train station that had happened. Uh, the gas attack. Are you Komatsu Nanako-san? Komatsu Nanako? I think you said Arjun so is very popular in recent years. Anako-san, I like your new movie Midnight Ring very much, Nia. Well, um, I'm not Nanako. My name is Kihara Kashin. Oh, you look alike, Nia. And are you a fan of Nanako? In theater, I have watched a few of Nanako's movies. Wow, I'm so happy, Nia. Nia. Oh, damn. Oh. Uh, Ginger Cat, you, you are the girl from a foreign place, and your feet seem to be taking a heavy toll on you. Sorry, Nia, I didn't mean to pep into your destiny, but I just can't control this pair of spider witch's eyes, which can see the future. Spider witch's eyes? Has it seen too many strange movies? Okay then, Ginger Cat, I know you guys are cute, but you guys are... Uh, peculiar, peculiar cat, I must say. Ah, uh, special offer for a limited time today. Caramel macchiato and a blueberry mochi ice cream. Oh my god. That is tasty indeed. Okay, let's go inside. What is the boss? Uh, welcome to the first cat cafe. What can I get for you? Excuse me, are you the boss of the forest cat cafe? I mean, I am the waitress at this place. That is what the person at the door said to you, right? Hi? Uh, sorry, she's the boss of this place. That idiot would always pull some silly pranks because she has too much free time on her hands. Uh, why do you need to do- Oh my god, he had a cat ears! Oh damn, I mean, it's a cat cafe. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. What happened? I just dozed up for a while and my two kittens disappeared. They should come back when they are hungry. You're alright, uh, but if I'm not with them, they would definitely be scared. With all due respect, they seem rather happy when you were away. Eh? Why? 
They complained a couple of days ago uh, that he had added strange things to their food. That is the cake I was experimenting for that new flavor. But <laughs> you can't use the products of your pill experiments to feed them either. They aren't poisonous and it is wasteful to throw them away. Forget it. If you are worried and find them, go and find them. We'll look after the cafe. But I bump into some weird stranger? Not too good at dealing with strangers. If you don't mind, I can help you find your cat. Honto? Honto? I got in my home also wander up quite a number of times. And I had to find it and bring it back all the time. Now I really need to trouble you. Uh, by the way, I don't know your name yet. My name is Kihara Kashi. Kihara. Ah, nice name. My name is Kinoshita Sakuraku. This girl over here who looks super serious is Aizawa Makoto. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Kihara-san. <laughs> My stupid boss is giving you so much trouble. Eh? How could you say that, that about others? Sakuraku-san, in this month alone, you've already spilled coffee and customers twice. Spoiled the open three times, broken five plays, and now you'd still lose your cats. And did I do all this? Please be focused when you work. By the way, Sakuraka-san, do you know anything about the lane of the Weeping Rain? Ihara-san, you want to go to the lane of the Weeping Rain? I... It said... The lane of the Weeping Rain has a highly corrosive rain. And I've heard that the owner of the forest cat cafe knows how to avoid the Weeping Rain. I see. When you get my kittens back, I will tell you how to get across the lane of the Weeping Rain. Okay, then I will set up now. Just a minute, Kihara-san. Please come with me to a place. Where are we going? Uh, you have probably noticed this kind of signpost during your travels. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have seen it before in Chikanaki Village. In fact, this signpost serves as the transport hub for the ghost train. Ghost train? It is said that during the Meiji period, trains were introduced into Japan. In order to build the railways, people destroyed uh, large tracts of forest and grassland, and many animals died as a result. And then the people who lived near the railways would often hear that mysterious sound of trains. Even the trains that ran normally at night would encounter those mysterious trains head on. In fact, they are caused by the restless spirits of those dead animals. But after a long time, the restless spirits' anguish wore out and they remained on this land permanently by manifesting themselves as trains. Hence, a large number of trains have formed a special transport network. And the signpost is the hub for the transport network. Simply put, the signpost can transport you to other places with that signpost. Oh! Nice! Naruhodo! Ah, uh, those kittens can't get you the barrier I have set up, so they are probably run to other places through the signpost. Does that mean I can find them through the signpost? Right, but I'm still not sure which signpost they have gone, so I'll need to trouble you to find them one by one. This pass is for you, you can use this to pass to the activate the transport function, so it will be easier for you to return to Kodomori Town. Although this pass is for a single use, you can use the transport function permanently once it is activated. Ghost Train Pass! Hell yeah! Aha, Sakurakisan, arigato. I should thank you. In fact, I'm not that good at dealing with people, and I don't really like to go to crowded places. So I will have to trouble you to help me get my cats back. Uh, right, there were two kittens that ran away. Uh, yeah, yeah, one of them is a white cat, ginger. And as I saw for information on this two kittens, it is easier for you to find them if you know their habits. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, the other one left the movie, so she might be in the Kodomori town. 
But the ginger cat, I forgot. He had a sensor to trouble you if I didn't have to look after the cat pee. I would have searched the cat for the cat myself. I heard Sakuraku-san say the business isn't good lately. Sorry, this is Sakuraku-san's unusual method to attract customers. To put it simply, she would claim that business in the cafe is low to get sympathy from others. A lot of customers have been deceived like, That is indeed a great marketing strategy. What the hell? Although very few humans would come here, the yokai who live nearby are our regulars, so our business isn't that bleak. That idiot can do a good job, but would always come up with many strange menu offerings. By the way, I'd like to know something about those two cats. Your information might help me find them. Uh, the white cat, I think we already know, but let's try. Uh, that white cat is called Winchan, it loves horror films, and it's a crazy fan of Komatsu Nanako. <gasps> oh, it's Komatsu Nana! Ah, I see. Yeah, she's a popular model in Japan. I see the references now in this game. Okay. It's Komatsu Nana, right? Yeah. I mean, I can lie though, she is indeed a beautiful actress. Uh, Rinchan likes to collect everything about Komatsu and Nanako, like posters, photo albums, and such. If you find Rinchan, try to pretend that you like Komatsu and Nanako. Okay. Uh, Ginger. Mochi chan. Oh, kawaii ne. Uh, cute name. Likes the movies on magic, yokai, samurai, and such. It has probably watched a lot of this kind of movie, so it always harbored fantasies of having magical powers. Some time ago, it said it had even found some strange call in Shikanaki village. Maybe it went there. Oh, okay. I get it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope this information is helpful to you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, though, uh, rich and mellow caramel macchiato with fresh blueberry mochi ice cream to go along with it. That is a good, that is indeed a good, uh, combination. I would love to have that. This afternoon set meal for the summer in the Forest Cat Cafe is definitely not to be missed, Nia. A maniki neko shaped like Tetero. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the, yeah, the, the cat ones that, you know, swing their arms. The Chinese one. Why does it feel different from the Tetero in my memories? <laughs> I think Sakuraku-san brought it around the time when Tonari no Tetero was queen. She bought it at the Kuramori Chogekijo. Sakuraku-san said this is a limited edition item and it is worth a lot of money. However, it looks like a pink item to me. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of mosquitoes right now. God damn it. Okay, but anyways, uh... Oh my god, a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, let's go now then. Oh yeah, there's a bell. Uh, okay, time to go. Yep. Bang! Uh, cat sign post transport function has been activated. Double point join, okay. Okay. So, apartment in Kuramori Town. Oh, there's a... Uh, footsteps. These are cat footprints. The footprints head up in different directions. If I investigate, I might track down the kitten. Uh... Footprints to the... Downwards, I guess? And the footprints leading downwards, uh... Downwards have some dirt and they have a faint coffee smell. Oh, yeah, to the right. The footprints to the right of some wet mud and they seem to have the smell of rotting aquatic aqu vegetation. Okay. I just got some coffee. Uh, yeah, as the leading role in the horror movie. Was there a white cat in the sponsor before? It looked like a lost one. 
What the hell? Are you in there? Uh, Komatsu Nanaki is fantastic. <coughs> okay. Wow, it is Nanaka's poster and I like her so much. <laughs> it's Zunia. You are really inside. How did it get inside the poster? I'm a cat spirit, so it's easy for me. By the way, you mustn't tell Mochi-chan, otherwise she will definitely keep pestering me to teach on how to get into the poster, Nia. Lucky. sakura Kitchen is quite worried about you. Let's go back quickly. It's so boring to go back, Nia. I have to watch humans and soldiers every day when they say nya 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 as if we are idiots. But we can understand what you're trying to say when they say nya 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 and such. <laughs> By the way, if you can help me to turn this poster up, I will go back, Nia. I have collected all the posters of Nanako except this hand-painted limited edition poster, Nia. But my claws are so sharp that I would definitely tear the poster, Nia. Okay, but you have to promise me that you will go back. No problem, Nia. Here it is. Get that poster. Go get that. Nice, okay now. Can we go in here though? No entry. Go, oh, there's something in that. Come on. Okay, next thing though, I think we need to go to the Bum To the disco. Oh you're here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this strange call is call is blooming with flowers, Nia. Yes, well, Sakuraki-san is worried about you. You should go back soon. You all don't believe I have magical powers. I don't want to go back, Nia. Actually, you might not believe me either. I also have magical powers. Really, Nia? Want to? Oh. The animals nearby all know about me. You can ask them if you don't believe me. If you go back to the copy house, I can show you. I'll ask the animals first, Nia. Ask the Sika deer. Is it real though? Oh, okay. You're the cat now. God damn. Tell me, Masen, do you know that human girl? Oh, you mean Kihara-sama? Of course I know her! Oh, this is so cute interaction, what the hell? Does she really have magical powers? Of course, Kihara-sama could do things humans couldn't. Look at all this blooming flowers! It is all thanks to Kihara-sama's help. Oh, now you believe now. Now do you believe me? Yara Sensei, I apologize for being rude earlier, Nia. Sen Sensei? Yara Sensei, please teach me on how to use your magical powers. Hmm, I can't teach you, but before that, you must go back to the copy house. Okay, Kihara Sensei. Thanks nice for now. Hello, Sika dear. It's been a long time. Kiara Sam is really amazing and kind. Now, let's go to the poorest cat to copy. Oh, what is this? Kiara Sam, Rin Chan, and Mochi Chan have already returned. Words can't express how grateful I am to you. I also like cats very much, so I can understand how you must have felt when the cats were lost. By the way, you must be tired after all that traveling. Please help yourself to our coffee houses, special coffee and cake. It will be my treat, so please help yourself. Alright. Alright. No problemo. Like most cafes, you will also prepare mocha, mocha, mo mocha for our valued guests. Kihara-san, you have helped us a lot. Uh, if we don't treat you well, this cafe would be too unwelcoming. Sorry for imposing on you. 
It isn't exactly polite to ask about a guest's appearance, but excuse me for asking this. Why would you want to go to the lane of the Weeping Queen? Uh, in fact, I came to go to Mori Town because of some inexplicable power. Or I should say I got trapped here. And I heard there's a way to help me leave this place in go to Mori Gekijo. He had a son. Excuse me for saying this. Kodomori Chogekicho isn't safe. You shouldn't... Isawa, you shouldn't interfere with the guest's wishes. Sumimasen. Come in aside. The coffee is ready, kiara -san. Please enjoy. It is indeed a cozy cafe. What the hell? I loved it. Let me serve you, kiara -san. Aizawa, thank you. Thank you. Kihara san, the coffee is hot. Please drink it slowly. Ooh, hot coffee. For a moment, Aizawa san seems to have cast a weird glance at me. Nani? When I'm about to reach the cup, notice there is a note at the bottom of the cup. It says, Don't drink the coffee. Huh? Uh, what's wrong, Kihara san? Is the copy not to your liking? No, not at all. Then don't delay. Try quickly. This copy really tastes very good. Kihara san, drink this cup of copy, and all your problems will be solved. Don't worry, the copy isn't poison. Ah. Uh, oh. Yadison, where are you going? Oh no, we shouldn't have been here. This power is. Oh. And Nani got it. Wait, did we just. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, we're back to that place. Where am I? Am I in the carriage where the gas attack happened three years ago? Yes, it is. I can smell something accurate and my vision is getting blurry. And then a familiar voice is yelling from the right side of the train. Get out of the carriage! Hurry! Yuki-san! Hiratani-san! Why are you here? Told you, then she links our beats together. You can't speak now? Yeah, probably because the train has left Kuramori Town and the curse on me is somehow weaker. But it's only temporary. I still can tell you some things that I know. Although we finally left Kuramori Town, we have to go back to break the curse. By the way, Kihara-chan, why did you come here by involving invoking Nensha? Well, it's a long story. I've been in this wonderful cafe and then someone tries to poison me. Ah, Kihara-chan, you would just trust other people that easily once again. Sorry, I just wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. Forget it. Let's activate Nensha and return to Kuramori Town first. Um, I mean, we're here now. The feather stopped glowing. Uh, the notebook didn't mention this. But if you are interrupted while activating Nensha, or you brought too many people with you through the Nensha, they might lead to fluctuations. Oh. Uh, excuse me, we have no choice but to wait uh, until the feather regains its power, so we must end. Avoid that, let's find a safe place to rest. Mm hmm, go man. Don't sweat it, at least you are safe and sound. Then I'd better go back to the pigeon form as before. Just bring me along with you, Kiara chan. Hee hee hee. Kiara chan's pocket is like a heater. Once I go inside, I don't want to come out again. Okay then, Yuki san. Okay then. I mean, I mean, not gonna lie though, you do like Yuki, uh, yeah, Kiara-san, right? 
Uh, the door handle appears to be warped by some great external force, and is stained with dry blood. Uh, bent. Oh, Amogus. Amogus. A device that indicates the ventilation conditions in the carriage. Carriage. And there are some indecipherable numbers in the device. Okay then. Toilet. Oh! Yep, I will really need the toilet. What the hell? Uh, Yamada Takashi. It should be the toilet Matsuyama san mentioned. Ooh. I'm gonna watch the door while you search around for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nishimura. Oh, we're back in time. Nishimura Seiko. Oh, wait. We're... Wait. We are different now. The tap has become rusty and reddish brown water keeps dripping from it. Train's moving slowly. A strange red liquid is flowing out of the toilet. Open the water tank. Uh, open the water tank. A mysterious package covered with red, red liquid is in the tank. I can't read. Yeah, obtain that. It is a bit dirty. I should wash it. Uh. This one? Yeah. I wash it. What is in that though? The parcel contains two metallic canisters. Obtained metallic canisters. So we are back in time, I guess? This one is yours. Do you know what to do? Oh yeah, you madataka. So we're back, I think, in the day where the gas attack happened. Yamada Takashi, I'll repeat step into the carriage and open this canister when the time is right. Oh, they are- no, 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 they are the ones that did it! Oh, And it is a child? Young lady? Oh my god. Will it be painful? Seiko. It's only through enduring pain for a short while that the power of truth will bestow eternal happiness. There's no doubt about it. No more stupid questions. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh no, this isn't a good idea. Damn it, I can't find Mats Matsuyama sense keys. Are they left in the toilet? I'll go back to check. We caught pound we others. Matsuyama sense identity would be revealed. Uh huh. Are you gonna control Seiko now? Oh. A bunch of keys is hanging from the rope. Oh my god, are we gonna any me to my mom? Oh, we're back here. Uh, Matsuyama's name is written on the key. Thank you. Uh, okay then. So, oh, we're back again. Oh, so we're now going to like back in time to like you know see what actually happened. Uh, I should be able to open the door with the keys I pick up just now. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Go back. Or wait, who are you? It's raining in this carriage. It should be the ghost train mentioned in the legends. League of Legends? Mobile Legends? Ghost train would manifest itself through one's consciousness. Different types of consciousness enables the train carriages to have different scenery. Ghost train probably overlap with train 135 and because of the disruptions when you use Sinatra. And I am... And I can't speak properly now because of these braces. braces. A signboard with the words Inarikat. Hello? Hello? Yeah, a cute human girl. I'm Kichijiro. Kichi May I know your name, lovely Ojo-chan? 
I'm Kihara Kaishin. Oh, Kihara-san. Look as cute as Fujisaki Chiyoko, Nya. Fujisaki Chiyoko? Is she a singer? Chiyoko was a well-known movie star in the 40s, Kihara-chan. I can't believe we don't know her. It's the 1940s, yo. Chill. This is the 90s. How could he possibly know a movie star of that time? By the way, our watermelons are super yummy, Nia. Yarasan, are you interested in advertising for us, Nia? Advertise? Very your point. I believe our watermelons will definitely sell really well. Yarasan, you might even outsell Chikanaki watermelons, Nia. Oh, the one with the, uh, scarecrow. Chikanaki watermelons. I remember Tamasaki san said for that the beer fruits in Shikanaki village are very famous. Yes, and the Shikanaki watermelon is my target that I wanna beat, Nia. Oh, I know, I have come up with a slogan, Nia. Yeah? How about Idol of the Millennium, Kiharakan's blast of sweetness? What do you think? I'm not exactly comfortable with the idea of doing an advertisement. And the slogan, it is really embarrassing. Exactly. Doesn't show any of Kihara chan's amazing qualities at all. This won't do. Hiritani. Stop pulling around with him. I still have important things to do. Oh, Nia Kihara san. Give me my, give my offer some thought, okay? Really sorry. Well, okay, if you ever change your mind, you can look for me anytime, Nia. Uh huh. No problem, Kikijero. No problem, though. Okay, uh. Where are we supposed to go? A device that has the sound of the running water. This is a weird train though, I mean it's a ghost train, so anything can happen in the train. A device that displays the weather, temperature, and ventilation conditions. Weather of normal rain. Yep. Gonna go in here though. So hot here. Yeah. Maintenance toolbox. box. Humans like you shouldn't open just about any box you see in here. Uh... So darn hot, do not disturb me before the sun set. So, I think we're gonna change the water. One half of the poster tower of the sun is turned up. The bright and warm colors seem as if it could make anyone feel the heat from the sun. I actually read about this tower in a textbook. It was built to mark the rise of the Japan's economy. Uh, no wonder it's called the land of the rising sun. Oh, this is an old poster though. Uh, it's covered by vines. The characters are still barely legible. One of the must-see tourist spots in Kuramori Cho Water of Abundant Shrine. So we need to remove this uh, vines, I think. Of normal high temperature. Oh, this one is so foggy. Oh, oh what, what, what is happening? So weird. I can't see the. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, oh. This is such a weird. Uh, oh my god. Okay, okay. Thank you. Abnormal. Oh, and I can't even see the stuff. Just why don't you turn on the power? Oh, hello. Is that? A hand painted fruit poster. Is that what I mean? In the poster, is that sex is it? Sex! <laughs> oh, here they are. I saw Makoto, Kiyarasan. What happened just now? Genesha created disruption because I thought I saw was an into the kitten's Junensha. This is what happened. I see. 
But don't worry, we can return there when the weather has regained its power. Wait a minute, Kiara-chan. I'm not sure whether this person and Sakuraku are in this together. What's this type of girl? <laughs> Glitter nose rice cake that can't speak? I'm a pigeon! <laughs> Aizawa-san, what is it a cup of copy? I'm not surely really sure what's in the copy, but it seems anyone who drinks it will lose their memories. Lose their memories? When they lose their memories, Sakuraku-san would send them somewhere else. Sakuraku san never told me when they, where did they go or why she is doing this, but she kept emphasizing I'm doing this for their sakes. What? Yara san, you are very nice and help us a lot. That's why I told you the secret. If so, why don't you leave the cafe? Are you hostage? Uh, Sakuraku san took me in and I love this job. Okay. But now that you have done this, what is Sakuraku san? Not an evil person. That's the only thing I know for sure. But now she has another reason to deduct this man's phone. Sakuraku san may be clumsy, but she is a very shrewd businesswoman. And even somewhat stingy. She often gave us the cake she had failed to make in order to save on cat food expenses. And force us to play with the customers. My head keeps getting stroked by humans until it has almost become bald, yeah. By the way, Kihara-san, you said just now that we could go back to the year 1998 you, and then sure, right? Yep. As far as I know, Train 135 was dismantled after the gas attack. The only carriage that hasn't been dismantled was bought by a... bought by Sakuraka-san, and converted it into a cafe. I guess that repurposed cafe is the carriage with the poison gas. According to the rules of the Nensha, which she told me, we can only return to the cafe by activating Nensha in the corresponding carriage. That's to say, the other carriages no longer exist in 1998. What would be dangerous if we activate Nensha at any place we like in the stream? Yeah, because we don't know. We don't know what happened to the carriages. This is exactly what I'm worried about the most. But the poison gas is still in the courage. We can't go back there. Maybe we could try discharging the gas. If my memory serves me right, the train should have a master control switch on the ventilation system near the door. That switch controls the ventilation settings in all the carriages. Uh huh, then let's check around the door first. I saw Makoto, Winchan, Mochi Chan have joined the team. There's a lot of people. Oh, we're going back now. But, I think this is a great opportunity for now to end this episode up here of the TLC of the Black Forest. Yeah, uh, new chapter has just begun and let's see what's gonna happen though. What kind of revelations are we gonna get onto the next episode? Let's see. But for now, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye bye, Johnny Matane, and I'll see you guys next time. Johnny!